hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn about the count function in the power bi it is a dx function which is mainly used to count the number of the cells present in a particular column so let's start today's video and we will see different ways to use a count function in the power bi so first thing what is a count function the count function is mainly used to count the number of the rows present in a table and that rows has a sum value means it doesn't have any blank value or you can say it should not has a non blank value so the syntax for the count function is as it is and the argument for the count function is a single column on which you want to count the number of the cells present in that column the return value for the count function is the whole number what are the different things we need to remember while using the count function the first thing is that count function only count the rows which has the data types of numbers dates and the strings then the second thing is the count function doesn't count the rows whose has the value blank and in the count function black values are getting blank values are getting skipped if the data type is int and it is not getting skipped if the data type is text i will show this practically as we go further in the power bi and the last thing is that it doesn't support to the logical values but it can be can it can count it by the count a functions so let's see what is a count a function count a function is the similar like the count functions it is also helpful to count the number of the rows present in the specific column it has the same syntax as a count function it also returns the same values like as a whole number by the count function but the main difference is that it helps to count the boolean data types values which is doesn't support by the count functions and it supports to the all date date type of data types then tags strings okay and it doesn't find any rows if it contains the blank value that is is as similar as the count functions now before going to the next function count text function i want to show you one interview questions we specifically ask ask in the power bi interview the question for that is that what is the main difference between the count and the count text so as i already told you count function is mainly used to count the number of the cells present in a particular column and it doesn't have any non blank values but the count x function is mainly used to count same like a count functions but in that they also have the second argument which is maybe any column or the expression on a particular table so here the main difference between the count and the count text function is that here only one parameter can provide it but here you can provide the two parameters and here in the expression you can provide the filters on this specific table i hope you understand the difference between the count and the count x it is a one of the most important interview question in the power bi interview so i will explain you in a more detail count x function in a page so we go to the count x function so as i told you the count x function count the number of the rows present in that and it also has the expression you can also provide in that its return value is a integer what are the things we need to remember while using the count x function that the first argument is always a table and the second argument is the column or the expression in that expression you can provide the filters also count x function support to the value dates strings and it doesn't count any value if it contains the blank value and the main thing is that as similar like a count function it also doesn't to the logical values 
but it is getting supported by the count ax function. The count a function ax function is similar to the count a function. It is also have the two parameters as the count a functions and it returns to the whole number. What are the things we need to remember here? It is a similar like a count a functions. It supports with the, all the data types as a count a function has but at the same time it supports to the logical values whose has a in the particular column. So we learn about the four ways to use the count a count functions count count a count a x count a x i summarize all the count functions in the one table to understand in a more better and a simple way so so this is the table which is provided here if you see here all the count functions supposed to the number dates and the strings similar but the difference main difference is here count functions doesn't support to the boolean values but count a function support to the boolean values count x function similar like a count function but here you can provide the expression you can provide in expression filters also it also doesn't support boolean values as a count function but count a and count a x function support to the boolean values but in count a x function you can provide additional filters which not possible in the count a functions so that's it from my side for the count functions i will show you practically how we can use count functions in the power bi so let's go to the power bi in power bi right now i have already loaded my database so if you want to use the same database you can check my video description uh, where you can see the link to download this database so i use table as a visual and i my loaded my database here this is the different data types this is a text data type this is a date data type this is the integer data type this is the profit which is the blank column here and this is the boolean data type so we will see step by step how the count function supports to the this all the data types so i already executed one count measure on this serial number column so if you click on it it will show you the count function on the serial number column of the sales table so i just want to show you the result which we get it after executing the count function on this column so i took the card as a visual let me make it small i drag it up and i will take this serial number value to see you the result so this is the four because we don't have we have the four cells present in this column and there is no any blank values present here similar way i executed the count functions on all the columns of this table and this is the result i get it from the with the help of the count function on the each column so as i as i told you profit is the blank column so we receive the blank value here here on this there is a four well values present in each cell so you return the four in the text text data type of the product there is a one blank value is already present but they consider blank values also so you get a result as a four but count function doesn't sub doesn't uh, get the value for the blank if it is present in the data type so here they skip this value and only return which number of the cells which has the value so here you get a result as a three in same in the unit price column also 
there is a three values present and one is a blank value so you get result as a three here this each target attitude is the boolean data type so if you execute the count function on this column you get result as a error so i want to show you the result which i get it after click after executing the count function on this boolean data types so you get an error that this function doesn't support to the count boolean data type after doing that uh, we executed the count a function also on all these columns to get a result so before going to there i want to show you that this is the error if you try to execute count function on these data types couldn't load the data for the visual the function count cannot work with the values of the type boolean so i executed count in function on all on all these columns similar like a count functions and i get the similar result like a count functions only difference here it supports to the boolean data type so here they return you the value because there is a four values present in these columns and each cell has some value so they will get a result as a four here so this is the main difference between the count and the count a functions count a count function doesn't support to the boolean data type but count a function support to the boolean data type now if you go to the count x and the count ax function i executed count x and the count ax function on all the columns similar like the count functions the main difference between the count and the count x function is that in the count x function you can apply one more expression as a arguments in the count x function i want to show you here if you want to apply the filter or if you want to apply the expression you can do with the help of the count x functions so here also you can take a new measure and you can up you can execute the count x function with the help of the filters so here i applied filters on the unit price column of the sales table where i given condition that uh, unit price of the column has a value greater than 500 so if you check in the table there is only one cells which has the value greater than the 500 so our ex expected result should be the one and the same result i get it after executing the count x function on this particular column of the table apart from that we received the same values as the count function in the count x functions only difference is that count x function also doesn't support to the boolean data type so here also i received the error message similar like the count functions that couldn't load the data for this visual the function count x cannot work with the values of the type boolean in the count x function we also we can also apply the filters as like a count x functions and count ax functions also return the same value as the count x functions but the here difference is that it supports to the boolean data type which is not getting supported by the count x functions in count ax function also you can apply the filters with the help of the measure and you can get a result as shown here so similar like we are getting the result like the count x function here so the main difference between the count x and the count ax is that in count x doesn't support to the boolean data types but count ax function support to the boolean data type so that's it for the today's video i hope you can understand the difference between the different count functions and there are the different ways to use the count function in the power bi 
we will explore more dx functions in our upcoming videos if you are new to my channel so please subscribe to my channel so you will get an update for the new upcoming videos thank you so much for watching this video